Team Fuse presenting on Lewin's three-step organizational model. Kurt Lewin, founder of social psychology. He created this model in the late 1940s and it is still used today. He was known for writing on group dynamics, group therapy, and social psychology. His theory is that one, one's behavior is related both to one's personal characteristics and to the social situation in which one finds oneself. His change management theory is based on a three-stage process, unfreezing, change, and refreeze. This is a picture of Kurt Lewin. The first step in the change management theory is Process. Motivation for change must be generated before change can occur. One must be helped to re-examine many cherished assumptions about oneself and one's relations to others. This quote summarizes the whole unfreezing process. It is the most difficult and important stage in the whole change management process. First, you must determine what needs to change and then stop the current state of action that is occurring within the organization. And finally, you must convince the whole organization to buy in to the change. First of all, you must address the core of a problem to create a more change-friendly environment. To do that, you must change the beliefs and attitudes and values that people have about the problem that is occurring. Then you must develop strong support among the organization by coming to an understanding that change is necessary and it will be for the better of the organization. The managers also need to understand the concerns of the employees regarding change and manage the initial reactions that the employees will have when trying to develop support. To develop support, you must be able to answer the question, why do you need change? Because the status quo is very strong within an organization. People find comfort in stability and you need to be able to sell your message on why change needs to occur. You must show confidence in a plan to support the need to change for people to be able to be convinced of your plans. Changes. Change is a moving stage that is typically a period of confusion. A period as we move from the old ways of doing things to the new. Change is, change is where people begin to resolve their uncertainty and look for new ways to do things. This stage involves a process of changing thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Developing new behaviors, values, and attitudes sometimes through organizational structure and process changes in development techniques. Solutions are developed and problems are solved. Having a support system is very important. To get people to accept change and contribute is to make them believe and understand how changes will benefit them. Here's an example. You're at that level where you are given an opportunity and that requires you to drop everything you had before and just move on. 
to something bigger and better. You're scared to take that risk because it's a change. But when you do, it will allow you to learn. The one disadvantage is that leaders take a lot of time on personal journey at their own pace without anyone's consent and expect others to take the same route. It causes others to be unsure. And as a leader, in order for you to make that change, you have to go for it. But you also got to reassure your, the people because action speaks louder than words. Time and communication are the keys to success for the changes to occur. Preparing others for what is coming, informing the benefits of changes, elaborate how changes will affect all employees and workers, be honest and open about how others feel about the changes. Cause and effect are the reasons that will help people to get a better understanding of the changes. Dispel rumors. Respond honestly and openly so there aren't any complications during the changes. Do not take too much time to address one problem because it shows the lack of confidence we have in our organization. Deal with the problems immediately. Empower action. Offer lots of opportunities for employees to be involved. Ensure that line managers give daily direction on the change. Empower action can come into different forms, whether it's coaching or teaching someone. But it can show you your leadership skills. The last stage of Lewin's three-step organization model is refreeze, the new mindset. One's comfort level is returning to previous levels before the change. Being able to give assurance that the process of change is happening. Making sure the changes become the new standard. It gives people the confidence and comfort with new change. Anchor the changes into the culture. You must identify what supports the change. You must find barriers that prevent change. Develop ways to sustain change. You must ensure leadership support. Create a reward system. Establish feedback systems. Adapt the organizational structure as necessary. Provide support and training. Keep everyone updated and supported.